welcome everybody and happy Halloween and this video is the witch hut inspired by the new bog witch update coming out but also because it's Halloween soon let's get into it so I'll show you what kind of decorations you can do to the place or Halloween themed uh, we've got some some of the mistletoe outside just to look like some bushes let's just put that away for a moment as we come inside close the door behind us so yeah it's it's a nice whiz, witch hut making potions cooking up uh, brews and, and things like that um, there's a lot you can do in here this fire does not go out in the weather if you watch the build tutorial you will see how I've managed to do that with a little trick and then coming in here this is where your future will be told by the witch you can sit down and she will explain your life <laughs> so and it's got a nice little chimney up there and then on the right hand side this is the bedroom this is where the witch sleeps not too shabby <laughs> uh, yeah pretty basic but that's the whole that's the whole thing if you wanted to use this more for survival you could obviously put around crafting things instead of just you know that's all it for the build well happy halloween to everybody and i hope you have a wonderful day all right so now just to start this one off we need the base first and we are just going to place a two meter pole log pole somewhere not all the way deep inside the water but maybe out just a little bit further just like that um, because when there's a storm it, the waves are going to go right up high over this so we need to make sure that that is in a good spot and then from there you can either do it on the ground or you can do it above here I find it easier just to do this and then delete them after but we're going to just be doing one click going all the way around like this So now that we've gone all the way around with that, we can um, we can begin to uh, add these posts in. But what you might have to do, let's say, maybe over here it might happen. These logs might break because they're not actually touching the ground. They might be attached to the to the like that one. You see. Uh, but that's fine. All you want to do, if that happens, is um, just bring it back again. You might have to line this up and just give it one tick. And then um, probably just get a bigger post and bring it down like that. Um, but yeah, you can just go around and delete all of these. See, there's another one. It's sort of the only way that you could do it without so that the waves don't get high enough and this is if you want to you don't have to do it in the water i just think it's going to look really nice once it's you know inside the water it makes it look like a proper swamp build so that's all of them broken uh except that one let's get rid of that so that one wants to go as well bring that one down and you want to make sure they're all blue not not green we want full you know uh structural integrity i'm not sure what you call it um after that just put these going one tick around the top of it and pretty much from here you want to choose where you want your main door to be and where you want the two rooms to be obviously you could put them pretty much wherever you want because they are diagonal um, I'll show you what I mean in just a moment, but I'm gonna have my entrance here I'm just gonna put two there just so I know that that's my entrance, but then from here We want to do two clicks Just like this And then bring it so it's uh, straight again go another two clicks straight two clicks Just like that and get your wood posts 
and you can put these on everyone if you wanted to, or yeah, however really, however many resources you got left. <laughs> and we're going to do the same on this side, and like I was saying, you can put this wherever you want because it could go here, it could go here, it's like honeycomb, you know, but I'm going to have it so it's even. Cool. So once that's done, we're bringing up these now. Um, the middle section we're bringing up two, and we'll just start it with this side first. So going around, putting them four meters up, which is two of these two meter posts. And then we're going around like this too. I'm keeping it on the same angle, just so it doesn't confuse things. Perfect. And then for these ones, we're going to go up one two meter and then a one meter on top of those. Same on the other side. next part we could start off doing is the dock of it um, but this is totally up to you if you want to make a dock like this or however you wish but I'm gonna bring it so we're gonna have it like um, if I can bring this one in so it's flat there and then we're gonna bring it up on both sides actually quite like how it looks like this we bring it up like that bring up like that and then we can just border it off now, I didn't really want to have to destroy that but looks like we might have to because I kind of like the way it looks for the vibe but it might have to go and then here just a couple pillars going down with the same ashwood we've already got them in there so that's fine and then you can if you wanted to add like a you know little little fancy thing um, I think I might, I don't know, we could do the same over here, yeah we'll leave that like that for now, that looks fine, and then we need to fill in this floor, we're just gonna bring these in two on each side, each of these cross sides keep it the same texture and fill in these ones now in the corners and then we can just do three of these like that oops messed that one up Well, that's basically that. This here is going to come up, but we can mess with that a little bit more later. But that is going to come up for the fire. And then we'll do the same on this side. Kind of the same, anyway. We're going to be leaving another tiny little piece in here. We'll get the smaller pieces and just do two on each one just like that and the same on the other side I'm 
Right, now that all this main part is done, we can bring these all together, connect these up. So we're going to connect those up like that, and the same on this side. Perfect. That looks quite good. Alright, so I just realized these are indestructible, but that's okay. We can just have it coming out the one side. That'll be fine. Um, and that makes like a nice little ornament anyway. So, kind of like it. That's cool. Um, but now, you can do this however you want. But we're going to fill in, you know, all this slot. Um, I'm going to keep it simple on that side, like this but different here so here we're gonna oops not that one I might use one of those and then we're gonna put a border here with a couple windows you can use whatever windows you want might use might use these they have a bit of a more window look to it Just like that so I'm gonna add one on each of the the sides here and I'm gonna add in a couple on on these parts this side here <clears throat> just gonna fill it in because this is where the bed's gonna go so we don't really need a uh, a window there and I've just added that at the top um, just I don't know just a bit of <laughs> randomness also just wanted to say that we're gonna fill in this gap on this side just holding shift and we could make it match a little bit better but just holding shift, just click it in so it's the same level. 
it's not going to be seen anyway because we're actually going to place a bed over this. Oh, actually, I just realized that this is going to be the bedroom. It doesn't matter what side you put the bedroom on, to be honest, but I'm going to add this window back in, actually. Oh, I'm just bringing it up full texture. Okay. So that is good. That hole's filled in. Now here, there's going to be another fire that we're going to bring up. So we just need to raise this a little bit and then we can just flatten it. And then that's that's fine like that. And we can begin to add in these little... Oh, we'll do that after. We'll do that after. So this next part is a little bit tricky, but bear with me. We're going to take one of these and we are going to bring it out uh, one one there and we're going to bring it out one here and then just join them up like that and do the same on this side this is so you have that snapping point in the middle So basically like that, I'm going to go around and do the same on each side. so it should look like this it's a little bit weird but just because of how Valheim works this is how we have to do it <clears throat> and then we're gonna bring this in too on each part and then we should be able to just bring these up again perfect just like that and so for these smaller ones we are only bringing them out one meter on each uh, I don't know like even side <laughs> like this and we need to go inside here and bring it in one like that as well same on this side. <coughs> so now we're going to start putting the roofs in. Uh, this is a, a little bit tricky, but we should be able to explain it quite well. So you want to get these 26 degree ones and snap them on to these one post parts so uh, let's do the same on this side so we're going to snap it so each corner comes out like that it's a bit tricky getting the inside here but we should be able to snap on that one there we go so we got the same there same again on this side snap on the outside of it and then here snap on the outside cool so just like that really and then we can bring our roof up and that will just attach to that one attach to that one Just like that looks pretty good we're gonna do the same on this side 
Right, so both should look like this. So it's kind of got some curve to it, but it's the best we can do for that size. And so now for the roof on this one, you need to get these one meter posts and we need to bring them out like this on, on both sides of all of these posts. And then from there, you'll be able to you'll be able to attach roofs just like this. <coughs> and that's perfect. This hole is meant to be here. It's a uh, uh, it's for the. Um, when I explained it earlier, so don't worry about that. And now this part's pretty straightforward. You just put in the roofs to fit the gaps. So it should look something like that. And now for this side where we want to have a functional chimney, we're going to place beams on the front of all of these, you know, these parts here and bring them and then we're going to put two meters on each of these corners. So it should That might be where it locks. It looks a little far. Oh no. Oh, so once we got that, now I'll just get these 45 degree roofs and we can now, if we get the right snap, there we go. Just attach it onto each of these sides. Like this and like that. And then this is going to be like the chimney. It's not the prettiest, but it's going to have to do. We can do this, you know, and add a bit of curves to it. Yeah, I like that. But if you start placing anything around here, it's going to stop a lot of the smoke from exiting. So if we go inside now, and if I just place in a campfire in here and we'll just wait for a moment you should see it starting to come out yeah just like that and so this here will be weatherproof and we're not getting smoked out as you can see so yeah that's the fire um, this one here is going to be another fire but we'll do that later and this is the bedroom and for the bedroom, it's pretty simple. I just put, like we did with the fire, I'm just putting these going around like that. Might be tricky to get this last one. Might just have to punch this out for now. So we can see, there it is. I think that's it. So yeah, that's the roof for the bedroom. Now if we come in here, you can see there is some gaps coming through, a bit of sunlight. So we can just add in some of these roofs on each of these corners like this. And that will just stop any light, any rain coming in. And also coming into this side, you can see all the, uh, the gaps. We just want to get these 
and go like this all the way around. Like that, so now the only light that's coming in is coming from up there. <clears throat> and I've got one simple trick to stop the rain getting in. And pretty much we would just want to bring this across. And we do need to attach it to the side as well. So if you just go like this, down like that, this, down like that. Bring this one across at the top. Might have to fly up. Like that. And now if we place a fire down. Let's place this down. You'll see if we turn the weather on. So now it's raining. And obviously the rain gets through. But placing another beam in the middle. For some reason it doesn't, so that's all you want to do for that. And the smoke can still escape out the top, if I show you here, you can see it coming out the top, so it still works all good. And this is where you want to get your bed set up, because it still needs to be close to the fire, you're going to make sure that, if you're going to be using this anyway for survival, uh, if I go here it needs to be close to a fire. If you just move it off this wall a bit, like here, uh, you should be able to now sleep in it. Of course, we can't forget the door. So let's grab that. We're going to grab this door to match, obviously. And then we've got these corner pieces. Just put in two of these. It's a bit fiddly sometimes. Might have to take the door out first. There you go, like that, and like that, put the door back in, and then just get one of these, put it above, just like that, and then I'll show you a couple little tricks here, just by getting one of these one by ones, you just put it like this, you can make some cool shelves, so yeah, that's Basically it though, we've got this um, this room on the left here with a bit of a fire, you got the main room where you, you do your, your potion, and then a little bedroom, um, and I will just go decorate this, just to show you what you can do with it.